This video contains general information about newborn screening for X-linked adrenoleukodystrophy, or XALD, in males. Every child is different, and some of this information may not apply to your child. Certain treatments may be recommended for some children, but not others. For specific questions about XALD and your child, you should contact your doctor. If your newborn has had a positive screen for XALD after newborn screening, it does not yet mean that he definitely has XALD. There are usually other medical tests that need to be done to confirm whether your baby actually has XALD. XALD is an inherited condition that affects the brain, nervous system, and adrenal glands. People with XALD have problems breaking down a certain type of fat. This condition occurs when a protein called adrenoleukodystrophy protein, or ALDP, is either missing or not working properly. This protein's job is to help break down very long chain fatty acids. When ALDP is not working, these fatty acids can build up in the cells and can be very harmful to different parts of the body. This buildup causes the symptoms of XALD. There are three major symptom sets, or presentations, of XALD in males. These describe the different body systems that can be affected. You can read more about these symptom sets in detail in our newbornscreening.info XALD fact sheet. The symptoms of XALD vary from person to person and can begin at different ages, ranging from infancy to middle age. It is important to remember that every child with XALD is different and it is not possible to predict how severely a child might be affected. Initial symptoms of XALD can include nausea and vomiting, seizures, weakness and fatigue, abnormal walking, developmental regression, or aggressive behavior. People with XALD should be treated by a team of specialists who are familiar with the disorder. This might include an endocrinologist, neurologist, neuromuscular specialist, geneticist, rehabilitation specialist, like a physical therapist, and genetic counselor. Certain treatments may be advised for some children, but not others, and some treatments are only recommended once the different symptoms associated with XALD occur. It is very important that your child, if confirmed to have XALD, is regularly monitored for the development of any symptoms, which can occur at any age. The following monitoring and treatments are usually recommended for males with XALD. Regular brain imaging by MRI is recommended to look for any changes in the brain that can happen in XALD in males and detect them before symptoms show up. A bone marrow transplant may be necessary if the brain or central nervous system is affected. Medication can be taken to replace hormones that are lost if the adrenal glands are affected. Physical or occupational therapy can help relieve symptoms like muscle spasms and reduce muscle rigidity that can develop in XALD. If your child has screened positive for XALD after newborn screening, follow-up testing is needed to confirm a true diagnosis. This might include measuring levels of fatty acids in the blood, as well as genetic testing of the ABCD1 gene. If the diagnosis is confirmed, other family members should be tested even if they have never shown any symptoms of XALD. You can talk to your doctor or genetic counselor about how other family members can have testing for XALD. The gene that tells our cells how to make ALDP is called ABCD1. This gene is located on the X chromosome, of which females typically have two copies of, while males typically have one X and one Y chromosome. Genes usually come in pairs, with each parent giving one copy to their child. Genes on the sex chromosomes, however, are different. A male inherits one X chromosome from his mother and one Y chromosome from his father. A female inherits two X chromosomes, one from each parent. A male with a non-working copy of the gene for XALD on his X chromosome will have XALD. This is because he does not have a second X chromosome with a working copy of the gene. 
This is why it is more common for males to actually be affected by XALD than females. When a female has a non-working copy of the gene on one of her X chromosomes, she will be a carrier of XALD. This is because she has a second working copy of the gene on her other X chromosome. Female carriers of XALD most often will not have any symptoms of the condition, but if they do, they are usually not as severe as males. For women who are carriers of XALD, there is a 50% chance in each pregnancy where she carries a male child that her son will be affected by XALD. Similarly, there is a 50% chance each time she is pregnant with a female child that her daughter will be a carrier like her. In some families, an affected baby is the first person in the family to have a non-working copy of ABCD1. About 1 in 20,000 individuals are born with XALD, and it occurs equally often in every ethnic group, geographical area, and country. Again, remember that every child with XALD is different. Your doctor and a team of specialists will come up with an individualized plan to help keep your child as healthy as possible if he or she is confirmed to have XALD. More information regarding XALD can be found in the following locations.